Hello friends, welcome back to the bench and today on the bench we have a 2009 Subaru Outback ECM which seems to be not liking me too much uh, the box first made it to um, my post office then it was returned due to insufficient address which was correct then the um, address was corrected it was sent back to me again and then the tracking number said that it was sent back again due to insufficient address. So I cancelled the order, uh, refunded the customer, and then the box made it to me. <laughs> it was over two weeks, way over two weeks that, um, that it was uh, on the way to me. So I figured, no, this one doesn't like me, so I'm not going gonna, I'm not gonna to work on this one. And, but now I'm forced, well, forced, I'm, I'm glad it finally made it to me. Um, but this is the first 2009 that I'm working on. Uh, usually I work on 2008s, but supposedly the ECMs are exactly the same in 08 and 09. So let's get the misfire fixed on this one. Alrighty, now let's get to it. Um, I gotta say that packing is just amazing. <laughs> Look at this, that you can fit 10, maybe eight ECMs in this. So I'm confident that this could drop from six floors on the, on the concrete and nothing would happen to the ECM inside. Oh my god. All right. There's a business card. And oh, look at this. Oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> There's our ACM. This is the model that has different configuration of gold-plated gold pins here. Um, the part number is different, it's 60B. The ones for uh, 08 are 86B. No, 86A, 86A. All right, it's the same. I see 608. What's all this stuff on it? That's probably from packaging. Uh, let's do a quick visual, but it uh, already looks pretty good. Um, All right. Mm. Very nice. Okay. There's again, I don't know why, but um, these boards lately, almost every single board that I, that I see um, has a missing mask on this chip, on part of this chip. I don't know why they do that. This whole part of the board is, the mask is missing. <laughs> Okay, 
I guess the mask is not that important. Okay, you go here to the rest of the ECM boxes. We don't need this. Uh, Okay, soldering iron none. We're gonna need some fume extraction. We're gonna need some scope. The anti glare light. Mm hmm. Some captain, some solder. The multimeter is not going to be needed. And a good RMA flux. Bam, Let's do this and get some captain. Up and we'll cover. Oh, this is different. There are some differences between the 08 and 09, but it looks like the chip is exact same. So that's all I care about. The cup is in the same place and the ceramic cup on the uh, VDD. Thermal protection. Now, let's see some few more but this is actually a pretty good one um, even when I buy the same same wigs same um, braids they they come different different some are like really they soak solder really well others need to heat up more others just turn it brittle I don't know okay that's our guy that's our patient and as you can see, it's got all kinds of these, these little, uh, what is it, those little specks, probably from the packaging. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I don't know what that what that is. Yeah. Um before shipping I'm gonna put it in the in something like a plastic bag or something. So these don't get on our board. Mm -hmm. Let's see, nine zero zero seven two four. Is that the same? It is, right? Hmm. Now it got me curious. I should be able to see it here. Yeah, seven two four. Okay. But this one doesn't need replacement. Um, because it looks pretty good. No signs of previous work being done on it. You can see the solder. Can you see the solder on it? Let's see how ugly it is. It is. It should be. It should be shiny and uh, solid surface. Solid shiny surface. And instead, it is. It looks like this. So this is definitely the solder. Oi, where are you going? Okay, uh, let's get oopsie poopsie. Um, let's see. I should be able to hold it like this. Yeah, it's actually maybe even better than it was before I broke the tweezers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that scratch over there I made. Don't worry about that. This is just a mask that was scratched, not the board. See, the scratch is gone. The tweezer is plastic, but it still has very sharp edges. Now there's one clean chip now. My sweet spot. Let it heat up. Thank you. 
overheating. Smells. It smells. They usually don't smell when you heat them up. This one does. See how ugly this solder is? That was definitely the issue. This is probably the worst I've seen. Well, it is the worst that I've seen. I've never seen it this, this nasty. It's kind of like, um, it's most definitely uh, lead free solder. So that makes it, um, you know, challenging to, to get the good, good soldering. But it also looks like, I don't know, that the flux hasn't been used or I don't know. It's like I've never seen it like this. And pretty much all my repairs are posted, so feel free to watch all the other ATM repairs and see that nothing like that has ever been the case. No wonder there was a misfire on this one. It's a mild fume extraction. Mm -hmm. Oh, what is this? 380, that's too much. Great one, isn't it? This other. Look at this. Have you seen anything like this? Sure, I'm not using flux right now because I just want to mix one and the other and clean it. But I have never seen solder behaving like that on these boards. This is some next level solder. The number two is this one. This is number one. Uh, this one is number one. This one's number six. Uh, so it goes one, two, three, four, five, six. And we had number six issue, which is this one. Uh, now let's get some flux. And see if we can clean it nicely. Okay, that looks 
okay, not great, but that looks okay. And not great because, can you see those, um, I don't know even what that is. Sometimes when you clean it off, it just turns into a nice shiny flat surface, even surface, and this is not turning into that. So it's not the first one that behaves like this. And it, the process still works, so I'm not worried. But we'll see how long this will last. So far I had zero returns. I mean, except for one time that I messed up soldering. Uh, but I haven't had any returns that after like weeks or months the misfire returns. No misfire returns. The board is ready. We still need to clean the flux, actually. I'll let, let it cool down a bit, actually. And now the worst part. That looks good. Again, it's not the completely even surface, but maybe that solder that was used by the manufacturer, it actually corroded the surface a little bit. Maybe that is the reason. Hard to say. Third time. 33 minutes. That's pretty good time.
Okay, there was no squeezage, which is good. Now let's check the let's check the pins. And this is the most annoying part, aligning the chip. But it needs to be aligned nearly perfectly. For it to work. The alignment is good. First try. So yeah, from this perspective, it looks misaligned. But I've seen that before. Let's um, let's clean it and confirm. absolutely sure before I get to the next step yeah, it definitely looks misaligned from this perspective <laughs> then you turn it around and it looks aligned again I want to say better than factory, but it's not. <laughs> but, you know, since the factory made it and it doesn't work, when I make it, it does work. So we can, clear, we can objectively say that it's better than factory.
actually put you a little closer now. So I had to keep my camera really high because the box was so tall. <laughs> Go! I spilled some alcohol. I hope that's not bad luck. <laughs> yeah, I'm not superstitious. Although I am Polish, so, you know, we are a very superstitious nation. When you leave the house and you have to go, come back to, you know, you forgot your keys or, you know, whatever, you forgot something, it's bad luck. So every Polish person, when uh, returns for something that they forgot, returns home for something, they always sit down. Kind of too, that was always funny to me. Like, you know, if if you're superstitious, then obviously you believe in some kind of higher power, right? So what makes you think you can fool a higher power <laughs> this easily by just sitting down for two seconds? And yeah, I didn't come back for anything. I just came back and sat down. <laughs> that always seemed funny to me. Oh, the superstitions are funny in general, because you know, they don't really follow logic. We'll see if this one actually, because I was a bit superstitious about this one you know if it doesn't want to make it to me then you know, I don't want to work on it and anyone who you know works in the repair business long enough knows what I'm talking about there are some uh, there are some uh, I don't know how to call it well superstitions maybe but so commonly you know proven and practice you know that that there is something to it <laughs> right uh like you know back in the day i used to do um zero copiers fix uh fixing zero copiers and so selling as well sometimes but usually i would just you know eh, go on site because obviously that's a big machine they don't bring it to you you need to go to them and when you sell a machine, uh, you know, we can call it superstition, but basically the rule was that you bring the machine and, and it needs to stay in your environment for 24 hours before you turn it on. And partially that's superstition, the other, you know, the, there's some reason behind it um, that, you know, you want, the, you want the machine to acclimate to your climate. So, temperature, humidity, all that. Uh, plus during shipping, you know, something must have, something could have, you know, shift or, you know, um, or just, you know, especially in zero copiers, you know, the, the developer is gonna spill a little bit, the toner is gonna spill a little bit. Um, the, uh, I don't know mo most of these parts in English, but, uh, the the used toner goes into a special container and that container also uh, uh, almost always will leak a little bit of toner so uh, basically you never turn on the fresh machine when you just bring it into the bring into the shop it needs to stay there and you uh, yeah and you uh, turn it on after 24 hours and I follow the same with ECMs I never work on ECMs on the same day I receive them I work the next day with some slight uh, exceptions because I received this one today <laughs> but this is you know this is the absolute exception because this has been like two weeks overdue uh, so yeah I wanted to start working on this one right away um, the cleanliness. Uh, you wanna see? Here it is. And now maybe with this light. Yeah. Uh, 
an actual light here. You see, nice and shiny. So there. This is what it's supposed to look like. Not what it did before. And it looks pretty clean to me. I don't see any flux left over. This um this brush that I'm using is excellent for that. And for cleaning, before I was using a toothbrush. And toothbrush doesn't really work. I mean it's not very effective. You just keep washing and washing and washing and eventually it'll get clean, but um the, this little brush and it's it's from China but it used to be like a usual typical brush right but it's been cut to make it um, to make it really thick and this is made from horse hair very good stuff and how do I know it's made of horse hair because they don't tell you that because I used to work in uh, art gallery and art supplies and stuff and I also used to paint and stuff so I just recognized the uh, horse hair brush it's very thick very very you can um, it's it's for um, a thick paints uh, Pigment, the um, what do you call it? The, uh, synthetic, no, the mineral based uh, pigments. That's what it is. But you didn't come here to listen about art. So let's put some mask, not Elon, on the chip. Alrighty, that is nicely solidified now. I'll shine a little bit from this side as well, but yeah, this is nicely solidified, so that's going to protect it from outside elements, humidity, and all those all that stuff that was there when I opened it. And I'll definitely. Oh, why am I looking at UV light under the microscope? That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. I should look at the screen, not uh, not under, not through the microscope. Um, all right, that should do it. That should do it. So that's our repair. Now the misfire should be gone, and the board is going back to. North Carolina to the nice lady that owns this car all right guys thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I shall see you in the next one